Well, let's talk about the Cisco Assistant in today's video. Now, if you go to any of these tabs, any of these options, you will not find the Cisco Assistant there, except when you go to Secure and then Access Policy. Once you click on it, you'll find it right there. It's sitting right there at the top, as you can see, right here. This is the Cisco Assistant. Now, we're going to deal with it in today's video. But before that, do you know what the Cisco Assistant is? Well, the Cisco Assistant, it goes ahead and creates the internet and private access rules on your policy from natural language prompts, right? Sounds amazing, doesn't it? So let's check it out in action then. Behold, I'm going to go ahead and click on it right now. All right, let's see what happens. I click on it. Welcome to your Cisco Assistant, powered by Generator Artificial Intelligence and Natural Language Processing. Blah, blah, blah. So a lot of stuff written in there. Please go ahead and read it. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. Now, another thing before we proceed, and now when you click on the AI Assistant, uh, and you don't see these three pages, right? Uh, you see, we went through the first page, and I clicked on Next, and I landed on this page, and I, then we go to the third page. Now, in case you don't find these pages, it's possibly because you've already clicked on the AI Assistant once, and you're trying to click on it the second time, possibly, right? But don't worry, you can uh, check these out in the user guide as well. All right, so this is the user guide, and you see these options right mentioned right here, right? So these are the recommendations for interacting with the Cisco Assistant. Now, if I click on this one, you'll find this is the third option that you get. And then you can go ahead and click on a Launch AI Assistant. And be sure to read these things, yeah? These are very important tips. Now, if I go ahead and click on it now, you'll find that this is how it looks, right? So when you take a look at these options, let's start from the top right. Now, this one right here means expand it to the full screen. This one, this, this is the second option. This means you want to open up a new tab. And obviously, you know this one, right? Now, now on the top left side, we have this plus icon. And if you click on this plus icon, it'll go ahead and clear the conversational messages on the assistant. Now, we're going to take a look at all of these options in action. And I'm going to show you how to create a single rule with it. I'm going to let you play with the create multiple rules yourself. Now, go ahead and clear the screen. So if I click on the first one, which is to go to full screen, like expand it, so I'm going to exit full screen. If I click on the second one, which is go, you know, open up a new tab, it opens up a new tab. And I'm going to land on Cisco uh, Assistant again, right? So let it up, open up. OK, there you go. I'm going to close it back. And then you have the close option. I'm not going to click on that. On the left-hand side, you have this plus option, which is to create a new conversation. If I click on it, because, because you see, there's I haven't uh, had any conversation with the Cisco Assistant yet, so therefore it won't be able to clear anything, right? So if I go ahead and say something like what and hit enter, it's not going to really like it. It's going to tell me that, hey, do you have anything for me in regards to the Cisco Secure Access? Uh, you know, you see right here, related to Cisco Secure Access, go ahead and ask me a question uh, in that case, and I'll assist you. Now, I want to clear it out. I can click on the plus button. There you go, right? Let's test it out then. Let's go ahead and paste it in there. Create internet rule. Allow any access to any. Hit enter. Generating. Let's go ahead. So it's going to tell me that, hey, you want to go ahead and add this rule. Uh, so create this rule. Create internet rule. Allow any access to any. It just double checks. And only if you go ahead and click on add rule, it's going to go ahead and do it. So this is your chance. I go ahead and click on it. It says generating. In the back end, you'll find that it. Uh, refreshes the page, right? It just did that. And it says a rule two created by Cisco Assistant. Now, I had created rule one while I was testing it. So that's why you have rule two right here. So if I go ahead and close it off, you'll find that rule two comes at the top. And this is amazing. Let me tell you what, if you're able to figure it out right now from the output, I'll give you two seconds. Well, you can pause the video as well, no problem. Now, the thing is, the great thing about this is that you find the status says disabled. Why is that? Because you see, in case something, um, you know, you didn't like uh, something about uh, the output that you get from uh, the Cisco Assistant, you find there's something wrong with the access or the action, the sources or the destination. In that case, it's not enabled and your production is not affected at all, right? So it is in the disabled state and that's amazing, right? So 
you can go ahead and click on these three dots, edit the changes, be completely satisfied with what, whatever you see on the screen, and then go ahead and enable it. Amazing, voila, job done. This was quick. And as I said before, the keywords for prompts and other access rule examples for private internet and you know warn, isolate, everything is mentioned in the user guide. I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you, possibly in the description or in a pinned comment. Now, if you're new to the channel, you can help me out by just subscribing to the channel and giving me a comment. Uh, you know, liking the video, sharing it with others. That's all that's required from your end. I hope this was, video was useful and thank you so much. You guys have a great time ahead. Goodbye.